Thank you. The father of a teenager killed by a faulty guardrail does not want a tragedy like this to happen to anyone else. This device has already killed. It is continuing to kill and it will kill somebody in the future. Since the accident, Hannah Imer's father has fought to have guardrails installed across the state. Tonight, James Torres tells us why that man says it's time to take that fight to the national level. James. Josh, President Donald Trump is expected to speak in Nashville this coming Monday. Upon one of the uh, items on his agenda, rural streets, rural roads, and infrastructure. That's why Stephen Imers tells me this is the perfect opportunity to raise nationwide awareness about the guardrails that killed his daughter. More than a year ago, Steve Imers lived his worst nightmare. My daughter was traveling in McMinn County, Tennessee, and she hit a guardrail end, and that guardrail end pierced her car, and she was fatally impaled, killed instantly. 17-year-old Hannah Imers crashed into a Lindsay x light guardrail. By the time of the crash, the state removed those rails from its approved product list because of performance concerns, but several were still on Tennessee roads. At that point, I was like, oh, wow, what? Um, what's going on here? After research, Imers found other families who had been devastated by the same product all over the country. This device is inherently defective and it will kill again. With President Trump coming to Nashville to speak to the American Farm Bureau Federation on Monday, Imers wants to drive his message to the White House, especially since Congresswoman Diane Black from Tennessee, who's running for governor, will be there too. This is a very applicable topic for that conversation and I have asked the congressman to bring this up to the president on Monday. Imers hopes by raising awareness on the national stage he could be certain these rails don't hurt any more families. And according to the Tennessee Department of Transportation, those guardrails are going to be removed on any road or highway where the speed limit is higher than 45 miles an hour. As of right now, on Interstates 24 and 40, they are clear of the x -like guardrails. Reporting live in Hamilton County, James Torres, News Channel 9. James, thank you. Now, TDOT says they have until June to replace all the x -like guardrails. Imer says he'll be in Nashville on Monday afternoon for that speed.